Right now, commercial spaceflight is a dream, but Elon Musk's company SpaceX is close to making it a reality. In the not too distant future, we could be seeing multiple rocket launches a day instead of once or twice a month. To do this, SpaceX has to prove that they can reuse their rockets by landing one on top of a floating platform in the middle of the ocean. If they succeed, this could drastically reduce the cost of spaceflight, making it available to the masses. Success, however, is not guaranteed. In fact, it's really, really hard, in part because SpaceX is the first in history to try anything like this. To make it work, SpaceX uses its own rocket engine designs and novel landing technology. Compared to traditional one or two engine rockets, SpaceX developed a one-of-a-kind nine-engine design to power their Falcon 9 rockets. So if one of the engines malfunctions in mid-launch, it still has eight more to rely on to get to space and back. 180 seconds after liftoff, the rocket reaches soaring heights 60 miles above Earth's surface. At that point, all nine of its engines shut off and the rocket breaks apart. SpaceX rockets have two separate pieces called the first and the second stage. The first stage gets the rocket into space while the second stage transports the payload the rest of the way to its destination. Both rocket stages are reusable, but right now SpaceX is working on salvaging only the first stage, which is the larger, more expensive piece of machinery. To do this, SpaceX performs a number of complex steps after separation, the first of which is getting the rocket in its upright position for landing. The easiest way to do this is for the first stage to complete a 180 degree somersault right after separation. Keep in mind that this thing weighs over 1 million pounds and is 224 feet tall. It's probably the most impressive somersault in the history of somersaulting. As the first stage re-enters the atmosphere, the rocket is falling at supersonic speeds. Its most important jobs now are to slow down, remain vertical, and get to the platform in the ocean. After somersaulting, the rocket reignites its engines, which sets it on the right trajectory path as it falls. Then, a couple of minutes later, it deploys a unique display of four fins located near the top. These fins, which may look out of place since no other rocket in history has such a thing, help keep the rocket on course and angled upright. Seconds before touchdown, the rocket fires its engines one last time to slow down even more. It deploys its landing gear, another first for rocket design, and gently lands on the platform. After that, the barge sails back to shore where the rocket can, in theory, be refueled and relaunched within a matter of hours, saving SpaceX from the months it takes and tens of millions of dollars it costs to build a new first stage rocket. Now, if all of this sounds too far-fetched, remember that SpaceX nearly succeeded last January. The only problem was that the fins ran out of fuel and couldn't do their job. So, the rocket was not vertical, falling too fast, and upon reaching the platform, it exploded. But it reached the platform. And despite only minor success, SpaceX is still aspiring to greater heights and softer landings than anyone before them. And it's not just commercial spaceflight we're talking about. Elon Musk's ultimate plan for SpaceX's game-changing reusable rocket technology is to send the first astronauts to Mars and back. Now that's thinking big. I just, it blows my mind that they actually do that. I mean, this is seriously like Wright Brothers of the 21st century. Yeah, yeah.